political leaders holding political rallies and bringing, you know, making the numbers of COVID-19 to go higher than what we have. Because right now, as we speak, we are on the third. If I may say, um, uh, it is like a third wave of the vaccine of the of the virus in the country. Well, too early to speculate, Brenda, uh, but uh, the personal doctor and the doctors here at the Nairobi Hospital will uh, be giving the comprehensive statement on what his condition is, because what we gather from his team is that uh, at, the, at the point of his uh, admission here last evening, uh, before he was uh, let uh, free to go back home, uh, he had complained of body aches and uh, fatigue. And you know that the former prime minister has previously been uh, admitted, was in June uh, last year in Dubai, he went to Dubai for a minor surgery. So perhaps from that comprehensive statement of his um, personal physician and the doctors here, uh, we will be able to gather if indeed this is a new condition or one originating from uh, the condition for which he had been admitted in Dubai when he underwent that uh, surgery. But he has certainly been a busy man in the past uh, few weeks, uh, has been traversing the coast on the Building Bridges Initiative popularization campaigns, and uh, was actually expected to attend some meeting at State House yesterday, which uh, did not uh, take off. Uh, the State House was yet to give reasons why the meeting did not happen, uh, but we can confirm that uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta also had a separate uh, engagement, a virtual, uh, a virtual meeting of the African Union. And uh, uh, the former Prime Minister, of course, having been admitted here last evening and uh, checked by his physicians, who uh, we understand from his communication team said it was nothing serious, but he needs to take some rest, Brenda. All right, and, and Morimi, I guess we are talking about a man who's, been, uh, who's played a crucial role in terms of uniting the country and the illness comes at a time when the country is talking about building bridges. What is the mood like at the hospital? Have you spotted any senior government officials or family members? Well, not, not, nothing unto what to suggest that uh, there are any senior government officials here, uh, possibly to see him. Uh, but uh, speaking to a few of his allies from within the ODM party, of course the mood is of anxiety because uh, he is definitely a key figurehead expected to take part in the BBI popularization campaigns when uh, the referendum push eventually hits the campaign mode uh, before uh, the masses and that could inform partly the anxiety that is there among the political class and the reason why uh, his communication team is keen to have that statement uh, released by his personal doctor later uh, in the day to of course calm these uh, anxieties that have hit uh, the political space since news emerged about him having been here at uh, the Nairobi hospital last evening and of course uh, reports that he had been taken back in here in the morning but from what we gather so far, the doctors say it's uh, nothing serious, but they recommend that he needs to take some rest, Brenda. All right. So, Murimi Mwangi, just uh, the last one from me. Yes, uh, this message that has come in, you know, the Honorable Leader, the Honorable Ryan Odinga being hospitalized, I know it's um, shocked even some of his supporters. So, even as we wait for the doctors to speak and also the personal assistant, Dennis Onyango, to address the nation about this, what are we likely, probably a political speculation that you'd like to tell us? Well, uh, it's, it's hard to tell because uh, matters of health are quite personal and uh, would, would possibly be, uh, the, the, that conversation would possibly be better informed uh, by the statement from uh, the physicians on what really is his condition. But we do know that he has been a busy man in the past uh, few weeks, uh, rather busy campaigning not just for the BBI but also in Western Kenya where uh, ODM was fielding a candidate in the Matungu parliamentary by-election, uh, possibly we'll get to know from uh, the doctors the, the cause for this fatigue. And as I mentioned earlier, we know that he had been uh, taken to Dubai for treatment in June last year. What we will be seeking to find out is if uh, this is a new condition or uh, one originating from uh, his earlier admission in Dubai in, uh, in June last year. And uh, hopefully with the, that particular statement, we will be able to know whether 
we will be seeing him on the campaign trail when the BBI referendum campaigns eventually begin, depending on the recommendations of his doctors, Brenda. All right, and, and so thank you so much, uh, Morimi Mwangi, about uh, that uh, detailed information you've got. And of course, we wait to see what uh, the medical team and uh, the personal assistant to Honorable Ryan Odinga will be telling the nation. But then let me bring in uh, the brother to Honorable Ryan Odinga, that is Oburu Odinga. And uh, he's joining us by a way of phone. Uh, Honorable Oburu Odinga, thank you for joining us here on KTN News this morning, KTN News Center this morning. It is a sad news that the country is receiving in terms of the illness of your brother kindly give us more details about this what is what is actually happening to the uh, honorable um Od Raila odinga well, uh, well I'm, I'm sorry you are calling it sad news because uh, i think everybody has to be sick that is the way god planned it and uh, if uh, Raila is uh, simply disinfused uh, for uh, just general fatigue and uh, is uh, having some joint pains and so on. So there, there's really nothing to to mourn about or to be sad about because I think sickness is a normal thing and is, there's nothing very serious about Raisa's uh, admission to us. All right, and um, there were lots of uh, speculations. Being the brother to Raila Odinga, kindly confirm uh, to us about the speculations about, you know, the coastal tours that he's been having. Uh, some... that, that he is with? I am talking about, there have been speculations about, uh, you know, his illness being connected with some of the tours that he's been having um, uh, in connection to this time that the country is talking about the pandemic. Kindly yeah. confirm to us uh, probably about this and medical tests that have been, con uh, have been taken. Well, the medical tests uh, by last night when I left uh, had not come uh, out on the COVID, but... Uh, uh, from what I observed, I did not see any signs of, of, of COVID in him uh, because we were together there and uh, there, there's no, no pain. No, he doesn't have any pain, pains on the chest or, or any cough uh, like like that. He doesn't, he doesn't, it was just a general fatigue of, uh, of the body having some joints, uh, joint pains. That is what I could see in period, but I'm not a doctor, so... The, the results were being waited by last night, and I had not received it. All right. And uh, when are we likely to get the, you know, to, because he's a man who is loved by many. Um, he has a lot of support across the country in all the 47 counties. Kindly talk to us about when the medical report is likely to come out, because that is well, something well, that... Well, well uh, his doctor, Dr. Olunya, will be giving uh, further, further details on his uh, health generally. Because I'm not a, a health specialist myself, I cannot give a medical report. So maybe by, by, the, by, by the end of the day, before the end of the day, uh, Dr. Lunya will be giving some more information. All right. So he went to hospital last night. He was discharged, discharged again this morning. He's uh, been admitted at the Nairobi Hospital. What is the condition? No, no. What, who, who was discharged? The information that we are getting, Honorable Oburu Odinga, is that the Honorable Raila Odinga was taken to hospital yesterday, was discharged, but then again um, uh, had the same concerns about his health, was readmitted this morning. So my question is, kindly talk to us about his no, health, that, how he's that, feeling that right now. That is absolute lies. That is a speculation. And I'm telling you that he went to the hospital in the morning and he was, he never, he was never released out of the hospital. All right. Thank you for confirming that. And kindly also confirm to us about his status right now, how he's doing. No, he's doing fine. All right. So we've been talking to Oburu Odinga, the brother to Honorable Raila Odinga, the ODM party leader who was, ad who was actually... Uh, been admitted at the hospital. But just before I let you go, um, uh, Honra Oburu Odinga, you're still with me online. Is it true that he was advised by the medical team not to take the coastal tour that he, he took last week? To, not to tell them. Kindly confirm to us whether the Honorable Raila Odinga was advised by the medical team not to take the coastal tour that he took last week because last week he, for the better part of last week he was in the coastal region yes he was in the in the coastal region but there was no such advice because he was feeling quite fine so what you can confirm to us here is that uh, he was not advised by the medical team not to take the coastal tour no
All right. Thank you so uh, much. All right, thank you so much, Oburu Odinga, the brother to Honorable Raila Odinga, talking to us about the hospitalization of the ODM party leader, Raila Odinga. But what he has confirmed to us this morning is that he was admitted in hospital this morning, um, contrary to reports that we had been receiving, um, that uh, he was admitted yesterday, discharged, and then admitted today in the morning. But he has confirmed to us that Honorable Raila Odinga was admitted this morning. We're waiting for the medical report from his medical team through... Uh, the family and also through the spokesperson will be addressing the press later on. Uh, as and when we get the latest information, we'll give it to you here on uh, KTN News Centre. But then I need to take a short commercial break here on KTN News Centre. But then I need to apologise uh, to the Tourism Cabinet Secretary, um, Honorable um, Najib Balala, because he had to cut short the interview. So I have to give you this latest information. And um, Balala, good morning. And uh, first of all, kindly... Um, I accept our apology because we needed to cut short the interview as to, you know, con uh, tell Kenyans about the latest information we're having about uh, ODM party leader Raila Odinga. Apologies accepted and we wish uh, Honorable Raila Odinga a quick recovery. All right. Thank you so much. But do stay with me because when we come back, we shall continue having this discussion with you about the ripple effects of COVID-19 on the tourism and the, uh, on the travel and the tourism sector. This is KTN News. Wholesale buyer of farm produce looking for constant and reliable supply of produce. Introducing Vuna, the wholesale marketplace for fresh produce. A joint project by Standard Group's Farm Kenya in partnership with Agin. With the Vuna market, you can say goodbye to uncertainties of procuring produce in bulk. Vuna Market connects wholesale buyers to a network of verified farmers working through reliable bulking centers countrywide with the benefit of standard weights, measures, and packaging, as well as transparent pricing for agricultural commodities that can be viewed at www.vuna.co.ke. Download the Vuna app for free today from the Google Play Store to have constant access to a consistent and transparent marketplace at the palm of your hand. And if you are a farmer looking to supply your produce at competitive prices, you can get in touch with the closest bulking center near you by emailing us on farmkenya at standardmedia.co.ke. Farm Kenya, working to secure your growth. <laughs> This week's episode, we are in Mombasa. So influencers are key in that they are at a very personal level with the people. So this day, they can go to, to Zanzibar, yeah? And uh, I bring this back, the Kshaswahili culture tradition. So today, we prepared um, authentic Swahili dishes that are eaten normally during lunch. Gata! 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 